Welcome back everyone, it's season 45, I think. Uh, it's the first war of the season and we start as we finished last time against four Loki. Um, I've got quite a small war today, I've only got three fights. And I'm bringing Warlock, Void and I can't remember. Um, oh, Odin for some pre-fights for Warlock. And yeah, we're going to go in. It's nice to get back to it today. Um, like I said, just a small war for me, but... Uh, a couple of fun fights. I made a couple of mistakes as we'll get to. But yeah, we're going with just path nine in section two today. And a uh, Hulkling mini on whatever node it was. I can't remember at the time, but it will be in the timestamps. So starting out with weapon X here, we've got uh, shock, hence the Odin pre-fight and bleed for hazard, hazard shift. Uh, we're going to start with just a bunch of parries. I've got big boosts on and tech power backs. My options were rank 5 Warlock for this or rank 4 Nimrod. And decided Warlock being bigger has the better. Although uh, Nimrod SP2 can nuke, I wasn't convinced it might down him. And the Warlock benefits a lot better from the, t from the power back boosts. <coughs> so we start off, get some parries, get the, get the infection on. Um, annoyingly my recording icon was just over his rage stacks so I actually completely missed the missed the count, I was keeping on up for 25 and then I just ate an unstoppable combo um, which is why I had an invulnerability boost on but we get instant power back for the special 2 so we can chain 2 and I'm almost up, back up to a third um, make use of his aggression to easy intercept get the third off and he's down no harm done, that's my last Warlock fight. The next two are with Void. Um, obviously ideally for Spidey Supreme, even though Void is tactic, you'd prefer a, a buff immune champ so that you don't have to worry about miss. There's also one I open on here, so I wanted to be careful with parries, um, as I'll be taking damage each time he's stunned. So my game plan was to have a combat regen boost, parry just at the start to, cap to get rid of the miss and back off and then try and keep Paris to a medium and just be very careful with the miss, um, waste it when I can and get back in there and let the debuffs do most of the work because Spidey doesn't have too much um, health. Um, I was baiting, banking on me being resistant to the hazard nodes and the regen boost at the start to keep me topped up so that I don't have to worry about when I open. And the plan worked really well, although it was a little while since I knocked him down at which point. So although I ate a missed combo there, he also went unstoppable and caught me a couple more times. Um, I wasn't really worried at any point during this fight, although that did get a little bit sweaty. Definitely didn't want to uh, succumb to the first war of the season, especially how I died to four Loki at the end of last season and ruined my streak. But he's going down nice and easily plan went well despite me making a couple of errors nothing a few potions can't fix and then we move up to Hulkling um, which is another hazard shift node um, so I went with a power start one boost here just to get some quick easy debuffs on him so that I'll immediately uh, become resistant to all the ha hazard damage um, I start off with incinerate hazard anyway, which I'm immune to, so it also gave me a window to get to another special one and get extra debuffs on him. Um, his regen, after I get enough on him, won't be a problem at all, and then I can just be patient and wait out. He's not very long-lasting, indestructible. Didn't want to block too many times for him to go unblockable, and it's a nice easy fight. So now I just have to pay a little bit patiently. Bait specials when I need to, they're easy to avoid. Um, like I said, his regen is really no issue. Once I've got enough uh, petrifiers on, it's going to work to my advantage as well. So yeah, the other option we had was uh, Absman, but seeing as I had Void and not much else to do in the war, I wanted this one and knew it would go well. It's always nice when things go to plan. So yeah, nice and easy. We'll just let this play out for the rest of it. There's not too much else left to say on it. Oh, 
And we're coming up to the closing stages now. One more indestructible to work around and the next window will kill him. And we're done. So, yeah, a very small, slightly insignificant war for me, but clean nonetheless. Unfortunately, it was a loss for us. Uh, the BG finished 2 all, and those two deaths from 4 Loki were all they had. That's a really good performance from them. It's always awesome to play against them, and just unfortunate we weren't good enough today. But we'll see you for War 2, where maybe there will be a little bit more action. Bye!